Oh, how's it going, guys? Didn't see you there. Welcome back. Seven Trouble Brothers Live here. A little something different. Uh, these are my crown of thorns and my banana tree. Uh, just want to have this little intro a little more different. Sorry if I haven't posted for a while. Today I'm going to show you guys, you know, just been, what's been going on the past, you know, week and a half, two weeks. From hatching the eggs earlier to banding the birds. And then now just a little update <clears throat> how the young birds have turned out. Stay tuned. Let's go right into the loft. Bring you back to last week. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I ban my young birds and how to ban young birds. Here's a, a nestmate pair I have here. These two are off my uh, uh, bird I call Triple King and Tignosis Princess, two first place winners on the final races. This is their first round. I'll show you guys how I do things here. I have my bands. Uh, this year, our club bands are white. United Club Bands. I have Vaseline and I have cotton swabs. So just in case, um, just in case if this guy I cannot ban uh, him or her, uh, we use Vaseline here to help up. Now when you're banding numbers, there's no specific way. It's just you know, some people like upside down, so that when they handle it, they can just read the band easily. For me, I don't care. So what I do is take the three front toes, and then you slip into the band, like so. So this just fits perfectly, and I forgot to show you guys a uh, little feather, zip tie plastic piece that can that's very thin and that cannot harm the young bird's leg and toe so what you do is you slip right through and this guy can cooperate slip it right through see that okay so now it's behind the back toe and then you're just gonna slowly pull it out And voila. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. So yeah, so there we go. We have a eight day old, seven, eight day old young bird that's banded. Same thing, put the band in, put this plastic piece all the way in, and gently, sorry, gently pull out the back toe. Okay, and we're good here. We have a band on, this little guy. It's pretty easy, I guess I didn't have to use Vaseline. Uh, for me, I honestly, I like to ban my young birds just a little bit older uh, because I don't, I don't want the bands to be lost in the nest, lost in the box, and in the loft if the young birds are still too small. But yeah, 
that's how you ban young birds and I will be uh, banning the rest of the young birds in the law tomorrow morning but just for this purpose for this video I want to ban these two because these are the older ones in the uh, in the loft. All right, today is March fifth. These young birds uh, are growing very well. Uh, they're they're still at that needle uh, feather part stage of their the life. Some has grown the feathers a little bit. Uh, I have two young birds that I have not yet banned. Those are more of the later guys, but everybody else is pretty much banded already. Let's go check them out. Got these two guys here. This is my uh, Triple King's full brother made it to a, um, my uh, Florian one and Bulldoze Bee's uh, daughter. So pretty dope. Some up here. These top two are the older ones. Got a nice, really dark blue bar there. Uh, that's Florida's Prince. Uh, that's a uh, Florian one and Bulldoze Beauty's uh, first round. Pump that round. It's pretty cool right here. This is my uh, Utah Rocket onto Blue Sapphire. That's an inbred set of small silver. Looks like it's gonna be a nice pied, pied young bird here. With the white flight. Look at that. I think the white flight's on this side. Yep, just some white flight. Pretty cool. We'll see how the young birds turn out. down here so this pair I thought they were gonna throw me reds but they throw me red dark check cock white flight made to a red check splash so I got some white flights and again these are not these guys are not two weeks old yet Look at this one. Pretty cool. It's gonna be real pie white flight. Yeah, look at those droppings. Pretty nice droppings. Kinda let the bee. Let's go a little down here. Pretty dope right here. These guys are uh, Bulldozer's Beauty's uh, nest mate. Made it to uh, set my 7909 head. Those are pretty big. So I think, I think the parents are feeding real great. Nice big crop, so. Let them be. And everybody's uh, on their babies. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's go check uh, some youngsters on the other section. Now these guys, on this side, I pumped up, uh, a lot of the pairs from this side. As you can see, before she was those youngsters, I got pairs going back on eggs. So, let's see how they do. Gonna, oh, they hatched. All right. So, I was actually in here in the loft earlier. And uh, these guys, yeah, I didn't see the eggshell yet. So, pretty cool. Okay, so, eggshell looks nice. This is my uh, Flo Dose's Prince. Made it to uh, head I got from John Amalka. All right, 
These guys did pair up a little late. Pretty cool. This might be my uh might send these two to black gold. See if they could do what the father did there. Okay, so let them stay on that. First time parents for the cock and the hen, so let that be. But yeah, here we go. Let's look at these youngsters. This is a this these babies are a great grandfather made it back to the great granddaughter. These are half siblings to Triple King from the sire side. And the mother is the the Viking 530 uh, third ace all Colorado hen that was raised in Colorado by Gary Weir. Yeah, look at that. Look at that crop. Big crop. Okay, very good. Parents are feeding very well. Got some white flights. Some pretty cool here. Yeah. Dope little guy. See how your nest mate looks like. So these guys are actually just about a day or two younger than the first two hatch. And these guys are actually the biggest ones uh, in the loft right now. But yeah, big crop. Pretty cool. Back on eggs. Yes. Let you guys be. Uh, all those beauties nestmate brother suck bro and turkon sucks he only filled one egg so I got one youngster youngster for the first round so I'll let them raise it um, I did give him a young hen this year so Took a little longer for the hen to pair up. These guys are out here enjoying the warm, cool weather. It's ugly today. It's warm and it's raining. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. I know I haven't been posting uh, a video, um, you know, frequently. Uh, I've just been going with the flow, going how the young birds have been looking, and uh, how the breeders are doing. The young birds are going great. They're growing very well, and you know, I'm very happy. This is the you know the funnest time of the season for me, and it's breeding season. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. Uh, see what I do a little bit. Let's kind of see how the breeders are, the numbers are. If you haven't liked, share, subscribe yet, please do. That helped me a lot. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'll post that in the description as well. I do post frequently on Instagram. And if you excuse me, I'm going to continue to water my beautiful flowers. Thanks, guys. Some Charbel's Loft.